Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Trackman 44 here. Hey, I got the old H hooked onto the buzzsaw, and we got our stake down here. Got the belt nice and tight. I got the belt soaked down with a little bit of brake fluid, so we're going to see how this old uh, this old belt stretches, you know, how it warms up a little bit. We're going to cut just a few of the slabs off the sawmill and just get rid of them because we got to clean up that area around the sawmill. So let's fire this thing up and see what happens. <laughs>
thing I forgot to point out. You always want to wear safety glasses. You always want to have hearing protection. I like to wear safety toe shoes, steel toe shoes too. But the main thing is just to keep everything out from under your feet. There just ain't nothing to using these things. Uh, you just got to make sure you don't put your your parts and pieces in front of the, the blade. In other words, you got to just keep your head out of your tail end whenever you're around these things. In my estimation, this is not a bit worse and actually is probably a bit safer than crawling around over tops of limbs and brush and everything, you know, uh, <laughs> with a chainsaw, a running chainsaw. So this thing here, this blade is fixed in position. You know, if you put your arm or your hand or you slip and fall into it, it's got to be on you. It's not on the machine. You know, whereas a chainsaw, if you slip and fall with a chainsaw, you know, and you don't have the chain brake on, uh, you can do some pretty doggone, pretty severe damage pretty quick. So, at any rate, you know, I ain't preaching to you or nothing like that. I just let you know that there really ain't that much to these old things. I've been around them for 60, more than 60 years, man. So, um, I, I don't think I've had more than a splinter. Of course, next time I fire this thing up, I might cut my arm off. You never can tell, you know. At any rate, I think this old lady just kind of enjoy him living here. Because, like I said, before I got it, it had sat in the corner of a shed for at least 20 years, you know what I mean? But uh, and then whenever I got it here, it had sat for at least another 8 or 10 years before I ever had time to get it running. So, you know what? You know, enough of this. I got to stack a little bit of wood. This Tractor Man 44. I'm out of here, guys.